Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to animate an HTML menu element's max height from the bottom to the top. Let's break it down. Our viewer has a menu that starts with a max height of zero and uses overflow hidden. They have set up a smooth CSS transition for the max height, but they want to change the animation direction. Can we achieve this with just CSS or JavaScript? Let's find out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To animate the menu from bottom to top, we need to adjust our CSS and JavaScript. First, let's modify the CSS to include a transform property. Next, we will set the initial state of the menu. We want it to start from the bottom, so we will set the transform property to scale Y0. Now, when we change the max height in JavaScript, we will also change the transform property to scale Y1 to reveal the menu from the bottom. Finally, ensure that the button click event triggers this toggle function. This will animate the menu smoothly from the bottom to the top. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To animate an element's max height from bottom to top, one approach is to use position absolute with bottom set to zero. This allows the content to reveal itself without scaling. Another method is to animate the positioning by manipulating the top property. This creates a sliding effect as the menu moves into view. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To animate an element's max height from bottom to top, you can use Flexbox. Align the element to the bottom with a line item set to Flex End. Here's a simple JavaScript function to toggle the menu's visibility. When the button is clicked, it adds or removes the active class. In the CSS, set the max height to zero initially and transition it to a larger value when active. This creates a smooth animation effect. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.